Hey y'all, it's your favorite on. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to Nightcap YouTube channel so you never miss a single live stream or video of myself, Ocho, and Gil. Remember, Nightcap doesn't happen without you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Sunday was another rough outing for the Cleveland Browns offense, but there won't be any changes oh. made to the quarterback position. Kevin Stefanski told Ooh. reporters Monday that he won't be benching Deshaun Watson in favor of Jameis Winston uh, following the 2016 loss to the Eagles. I think there were moments, obviously, that yesterday I think Deshaun gives us the best chance to win. You're not winning. Mm -hmm. Continues to give us the best chance to win, and we need to play really good offensive football at his position and really at every other position to be successful. Mm -hmm. What you think? What you what you thinking, huh? What you thinking? Now, now let's let, let's think from a business a business standpoint. You understand how those owners are thinking, and you know Stephen, Stephen, Kevin Stefanski doesn't pull the strings on that puppet. If I'm paying somebody that kind of money, he's going to play, even if things aren't going well. I'm gonna try to get my money's worth until I can't no more. I ain't pay, I'm paying the guy forty five million. I'm paying the other guy five to seven million. It's like it doesn't make sense. Why would I pay wh and put him on the bench making forty five million? Yeah. So I mean, yeah. I mean, so what, I mean, why why would they make a change? Why would they make a change? I, I mean, him saying he him saying uh, Deshaun Watson gives us our best chance to win. Is, is he wrong or is he right? What you think? Do you think Jameis Winston gives the Cleveland Browns a better chance to win at the quarterback position? How about this? He gives you your best chance to win, but you're not winning. So okay. how good of a chance is it? Mm. You think maybe it's the, the flat, the flashes of brilliance that you see, just the flashes aren't as consistent as it used he to says, be. He says, "I think Deshaun gives us the best chance to win. Continue to give us the best chance to win. We need to play really good offensive football at his position and really good football at every other position to be successful." Right. No crap, Sherlock. <laughs> wow. That is some that is that is yeah. some great coaching. That is man, that is some motivational stuff right there. We need the quarterback mm -hmm. to play good, and we need to play right. good at every other position. Yeah, well, the quarterback has to play the best because he got the ball in his hands all the time. He has the ball in his hands every play. So his decision making and everything he decides to do with the ball impacts and affects everyone else around him, especially offensively. Hell, even defensively. Because if you make mistakes, then they always on the goddamn field. On the defensive side of the ball. I agree. Yeah. He's not playing well, Ocho. But you keep saying, Ocho, yeah. you say he gives you the... Oh, I didn't... I, no. Me, I didn't say. I'm just I'm just saying. I'm, I was asking your thoughts on what you think. Should they make a change? Ocho, after three years... <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, it's... Just, I, it's t and I get it. When you, when you invest yeah. that kind of money, a lot of times... Yeah. It's just like anything. It's just like with an investment. Mm -hmm. When you put a lot of money into an investment, Ocho, it's hard to get off. Mm -hmm. it. It's hard to yeah. get off it, Ocho, because you want to see mm -hmm. some kind of dividend. You want to see some type of yeah. return on your investment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sometimes you got to cut your losses. Mm -hmm. That's the hard. I got a question yes. for you. I got a question for you. So, fellas, that's in the chat that you listen to me. Now, think about this. On much smaller terms, but think about it. You're dating a woman. You've been dating her for two or three years, and you're thinking about all the money and everything you've invested in this individual. And you just and you keep on, you keep on trying, you keep on trying, and things just don't seem to be working out and going the way you'd like it to go in the right direction. But you keep thinking about all the time you spent, all the money you spent, and invested in this individual. Are you gonna are you gonna shelf her? Are you gonna say, you know what? I don't want. I don't want to do this you no more. Why? Let me tell you why. Because you don't want her to be what you think she can be with somebody else when you've invested all that in her. See, that's why a lot of teams don't want to get upset, player. Because what if he goes and be somewhere else? What we thought he could be here. Mm. You done bought five, ten, fifteen YSL Louis. Hermes, mm. mm. Gucci bags, Balenciaga. You done bought a whip. She won't do right. Damn. But what does she do right over there? But think about this, huh? Think about this. What if you cut your losses, forget the bags and everything you bought, because you can get that back, right? And then if she does leave and you get rid of that, think about it not being, that's an expense that is no longer on your 
on your tab. It's no longer your, it's no longer on your plate, and that's okay. I get it. I get it. That's but okay. A lot of people don't think like that because, like you said, you made a heavy investment. It's just like you buy a stock or you buy an investment property. Mm-hmm. If you don't want to get off it, Ocho, because you thought this was the run property. This was going to be your Netflix. This was going to be your Google. This was going to be mm. your Apple. Right. Your Uber. Whatever the case may be, that was going to be your time to hit a lick. And that's the funny thing. When it comes to investing, that's something that we always need to learn and understand. Yeah. Everything we invest in, we're not going to get a return on. Everything we invest in, we're not going to get a return on. So you have to know when to cut your mm-hmm. losses. And it's okay. Because at some point, that loss for you becomes somebody else's responsibility. Because they ain't doing right by you. Nine times out of ten, they ain't going to do right by the next motherfucker either. So if a certain individual, if a certain player looks a certain way, it ain't like all of a sudden they're going to go to another team and they're going to be magic and all of a sudden turn around and be somebody else that they're not. I get it, bro. I get it. Uh, at the end of the day, Ojo, look, we've all... I ain't say all, but I know I've had to cut losses. It is what it is. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, I cut a loss in a minute. Oh, you don't play, huh? Ocho, it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. Hell, I can't win them all. Nobody. And I Mm. I see guys in the chat, chat, oh, you simping. Bro, you don't even know. Your woman probably bent over right now. (laughs) Why are you over there bumping them? Everybody... Nobody, Ocho, the thing is, no guy thinks it's going to happen to him or them. Oh, listen, if you don't, if I, I don't have that, I, I, well, I don't have that kind of ego. Um, I don't have that, that kind of ego. No, I don't either. It can happen to anybody. It don't matter who he is. It can happen to anybody. Because the funny thing about it, based on experience, and I don't mean to be bringing up a past. I don't mean to be bringing up a past. But listen, we family. We family. I can be honest. Because I, I was on the other side of the mm-hmm. spectrum. So I know it can be done because I was number two mm-hmm. for years. Stay, stay with me now. I, I can talk to y'all. Yeah. We're family. So I know, I know what, I know what can happen. I know the lies. I know the tricks. I know the, I know all that 56 years of experience. So I would never have ego and thinking, Oh hell shit. I'm Ocho. It can't happen to me. A, a fucking fool. I, I am not. I am not. Mm-hmm. It never will be happens to the best of us oh yeah yes it does but you just mo- you move on hey you wish her the best it didn't work out with you and i i wish you the best mm-hmm. in your next journey but I, I i've i've been very fortunate like i said i've been with i've been with my uh my agent since 1996 so we coming up on 30 years mm-hmm. yes sir. He's, anytime i've anytime i've lost something you always tell right. me don't never worry about it the next company you work for, they'll pay for it. Mm. I said, okay. They'll pay for it. Like you got to get up off a car. You got to get up X amount of dollars. Don't even worry about it. Puts my mind at such ease. But as I've gotten I older, like as I've gotten older, I've become more and more detached mm-hmm. from things. Cars, money, jewelry. It don't mean it don't mean as much to me as it once did. Yeah, so yeah. once, once when you, you can detach yourself you from did. it, Ocho. That's freedom, Unc. That's freedom, Unc. That's the definition of being free. Where it don't have a hold on you no more. It don't got you in a chokehold no more. A lot of people, a lot of people can't do that. That's hard. I walk, hey, I walk away from a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand like it ain't ish. It won't yeah. even look back. Yes, sir. Because that's just where I am now. That's where I am in my life now. It don't, it don't, it don't, mm-hmm. it don't mean now you caught O'Shea in his 20s and 30s. Different I spent 500000 to get 100000 back because I know you ain't got it. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put your ass in a crunch. But now, mm-hmm. take off with it. Right. It, don't, it, it, don't, it doesn't bother me anymore because I'm going to look. I'm like, hey, my kid's good. Mom, mom, sister, brother, good. I'm great. Take off. I don't care. Mm-hmm. You just learn, Ocho, as you get older, things that used to get you riled up. Yeah, mean a lot to you. It don't. It don't anymore. 
it ain't even worth it. It's not. Yeah, it come with time though. It come with time, time, age, maturity. Think about think about some of the things you you enjoyed and you loved when you was playing. I'm talking about enjoy. You just couldn't do yep. it out. Now, man, I I could kill it. See, the thing is, like when you ask God for something, I ask God for patience. <laughs> He's not gonna give me yes, patience, Ocho. He's gonna put me in a situation where patience is required. Mm. Wow. That's what he does. He right. puts you in a situation where what you're asking for, for is required. Mm-hmm. And you learned, but it took it took a while for me to get to that point. It's gonna be okay. Right. And then once I once I let that go and I start, I stopped thinking about money, and it wasn't mm-hmm. man, Ocho. Stuff just 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 started coming. Flowing, just started yeah. coming. I was like, boy, I'm arguing over this, and he done gave it back to me tenfold. Mm. Man, I say, Phew. 